Black Snapper from 2012 on my bench again. I removed all the old ESCs and the giant NASA. Leave a comment if you are one of those really old FPVers that remember flying the NASA. I have a F7V3 Speedy B stack. Since I'm not the best at soldering, I'm quite happy that I have soldered on the motors. That is all in one board. And it's gigantic. I mean, I have large hands. That's an XT60 block, not XT30. I will be using four cells because the motors cannot do more than four. Yes, the T motors for 4006, 13, with 740 kV. 12 inch props on this. I know already this thing will have a lot of vibrations, so we need all the filtering we can get on beta flight. So excited where this journey leads. Oh yeah, and of course, beauty of such a large frame is you have absolutely no worries about where to place your components. And then there will be a top plate and not that much more. Test fly the black snapper once again here. It ran through a lot of tuning, couldn't get all the vibrations out, so it's not pleasant to fly it from the FPV perspective. But since this thing is a monster, I will fly it line of sight more. So, even though I just fly it line of sight, I will try the GoPro 11 Mini with Hypersmooth and an ND16 filter and see if there's vibration left, jello left and look what oh, a monstrosity this is if you extend the arms it almost doesn't fit the table okay let's check this out This little fucker, it wanted to do a flyaway. <laughs> I disarmed it and then I rearmed like two meters off the ground. It was a bit of a harsh landing. I didn't want to have a flyaway with my GoPro. Man, what happened? What was this? It's still in one piece. Do I trust it? No. <laughs> do I have any clue what happened? Not really. Maybe I overtuned it the last time. But I remember that it flew fine when I flew it the last time. I will review the settings if any of the sliders is way off, which gives you the warning in beta flight that you will get flyaways. I would definitely now have a flyaway because it kept ascending and descending even though I was at zero throttle. At some point I, I panicked a little because there's my precious new GoPro 11 and it goes up and up and uh, yeah, if something weird happens this arm even though this might cost you your copter in this case it wasn't bad it could bend yeah you see it can have tiltable motor mounts this this pipe type motor arm it it turned on impact and it also folded itself which took away a lot of the impact it wasn't too much of an impact as i said it was at five meters this arm and in two meters I rearmed so it catched itself a bit. My plans were to have a reliable, fun, fat little copter to fly it line of sight, but it, in this stage, first thing I want to do is 
take off the GoPro <laughs> and never put it on again on this copter. But once again, I don't want to blame the Speedy B flight controller in it. Let's. Ooh, that's cramped in quite heavily. Okay, back in the hangar with the not repaired yet black snapper. It will hang on the wall for sure. <laughs> Let's connect it to beta flight configurator and see what the settings are. I have 442 installed on it. And as I said, I did a lot of tuning flights and I never got it to fly really good because of the frame, I suppose. And at least here I don't see excessive things. Maybe the dampening is too high. And also I didn't do a lot of filtering, but also not. Less filtering means sharper response, but yeah. You sh I shouldn't do it with, with low build quality, so maybe the... It's your turn. Let me know in the comments what do you think of my setup. It's air mode enabled. Probably air mode isn't a good idea on such a copter. I run it with D shot 600 and I even have bi directional D shot enabled there. Um, since this Speedy F7 version 3 has 500 max of black box storage, I can also analyze the black box lock and compare it to a successful flight. On a successful flight, I didn't have a GoPro on it. Whilst now I had 150 gram more of weight. Maybe this was already the cause. Let's find it out in the black box look. My guess is that the pit, the red, the roll pits, the roll pits show a lot of vibrations here. So this is takeoff moment. I think command throttle. I apply some throttle. That's half throttle, it's not even full throttle, right? And the moment it, it took off, you normally accommodate yourself to the hover point on throttle. I was going all the way down to zero throttle and still kept ascending. And it was probably because of excessive vibrations. As a quick comparison, this is a successful, more or less successful flight two months ago. And the only thing that I changed is that I put the GoPro, the additional weight, so nothing excessive, but maybe this little change was already enough. You don't see the excessive pit on the roll axis than you do here. So this is a normal start of a successful flight. And this was the start with the uh, huge arrows on the roll axis. Maybe my settings were on the edge of working <laughs> back then and the flight was more or less okay. It wasn't perfect. It was each turn was nearly uh, scraping on disaster. <laughs> but it worked and now I've put more weight on it and the, the values, the pits freaked out. So if you have suggestions on what I should have done differently, let me know in the comments. The concept back then was, was nice. While this is a large copter, it can be yeah, folded down quite small with these huge props. The point of my experiment was, can really clever hardware and software, and it's mostly software and beta flight, can they cope with inferior frame design? And the answer seems to be <laughs> not really, not all the time. Moving on to something more serious in the near future, hopefully. Thanks a lot for watching. Check out my Patreon page. I'm not even sure if all of these guys are still with me. If you are, thanks a lot. Much appreciated. <laughs> I want to take a short moment to make a shout out to one of my regular viewers who always comments in the nicest possible way. Hello Mario from Brazil. Hello to you and your father. Nice that you always write me from the far region of Brazil. Good luck with your plane build. Hope to see a video soon. So, thanks a lot for watching, all of you guys. See you next time. Bye for now.